Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Greetings, I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Splendid! You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop it when picking up any useful items. You can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Take out the ch- To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Stick it somewhere except for your face. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. <laughs> Just the antenna, you'll have to go into outer space.
That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. It looks like the great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. What a loud headline, but the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full.
Seems they were playing some brain cracking game. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system.
Your interlocutor has a very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions.
The electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. A standard coffin of the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. The largest condom in the world, and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. The service supply compartment, almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be in luck if you managed to get inside. A damaged door scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner's scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. Be careful. Games provoke cruelty, because according to statistics, most criminals played them at least once. All criminals drink water, blinked, and used toilet paper, which makes it possible to draw an unequivocal conclusion about your criminal inclinations.
The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle on the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. Toilet detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the... I propose to call it Hammond, although this toilet doesn't look like a man-robot. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. Be careful with the vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. 